Why did the apple fall down? Why not fall up? Isaac Newton was also confused at that time. An apple of the tree Ouch. fell to his head and he asked himself, Why is it perpendicular? Why not sideways or upward? The answer is gravity. First of all, what is gravity? It's a natural phenomena where all things that have mass or energy attract each other. Gravity is the reason why we can tread our feet on the ground, run, or even break, as well as objects that fall down due to gravity force. Now let's see this. There is a rock and a paper. Obviously, the rock falls first. But what if the paper is squeezed? They fell together. Is the gravitational force from both objects the same? No. Why? If we modify Newton's second law equation slightly, we have a shortcut equation to calculate the weight of an object. Every object has 9.8 and per kilogram or 10 gravitational field strength. For example, the mass of the rock is 5 kilograms and the paper is 2 kilograms. Now let's check and find the gravitational force. See, 20 and 50 are definitely not the same, right? In conclusion, we can see that two different objects with different masses could fall together, but they have different gravity forces. All objects fall with the same gravitational field strength. Imagine, what if gravity on Earth disappeared? We can't breathe, we can't put our feet on the ground, and everything on Earth will float in the air. Of course, we need gravity.